The Snow Dancer Written by Addie Boswell and illustrated by Merce Lopez Sophia was asleep when the snowflakes came. All through the night they fell, frosting the rooftops, fluffing the sidewalks, laying fuzzy hats on the fire hydrants. When she woke, Sophia flew to the window. Snow day, she asked. Snow day, she said. Snow day, she cheered. Her voice hung in the still air. No buses squealed, no cars honked, no neighbors shouted. Her city and all its sounds had disappeared. Sophia bundled out of the sleeping house. She sniffed the cold, clean air and tasted the sparkling snow. Woomph! She fell down the hidden steps. Crunch, 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 crunch. She hopscotched down the invisible sidewalk. Slish, slush, slish, slush. She skated across the frozen street. She slid to a stop at the top of the park. The sun shone like a giant spotlight. The soccer field gleamed like a giant stage. There wasn't a single set of footprints yet. Sophia leaped. She twirled. She made patterns with her footprints. Crunch, 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 crunch. She drew lines with her shuffles. Slish, slush, slish, slush. She danced a whole ballet into the silence until children appeared at the top of the hill. Look, whispered a little girl, a snow fairy. But the other kids didn't hear. They saw the giant spotlight and the giant stage. They shouted, snow day, as they ran skelter-melter down the hill. Stop, Sophia said, wait, listen. But the kids didn't stop. They were too busy running and jumping, laughing and yelling, pushing and falling, scattering all of Sophia's beautiful silence. A little girl tugged on her scarf. Are you a snow fairy? I'm not a fairy. I'm just a dancer, sniffled Sophia. What does a snow dancer do? Sophia thought for a moment. She stood up a little straighter. A snow dancer can do anything. She reached out her hand. I'll show you. The other kids stomped roads that crisscrossed the stage. Crunch, 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 crunch. And Sophia and her new friend twirled through the blank spaces. The other kids cannonballed themselves into the snow drifts. Kasploosh, kasploosh. And Sophia and her new friend leaped over them on their tiptoes. They skated and swirled and slid until a snowball landed splat right on Sophia's shoulder. The kids froze. A silence fell over the park. The snow dancer looked to her sidekick. They shared a secret smile, a secret snow dancer smile. Snowball fight, Sophia shouted. Sploosh, sploosh, sploosh. Skitter, whish, slap, woomph. Soon the kids were too tired to throw one more snowball. They lay scattered in the snow and listened to the sounds moving closer. Snow plows pulled out, screech, screech, scrape. Buses started their engines, huff, huff, haroom and parents called their kids home to shovel. Sophia spread her arms and gave her new friend a grand curtsy. The girl curtsied back. Then the snow dancer twirled in the white world once more and turned for home, dancing in her frozen footprints. Crunch, 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 crunch. Slish, slush, slish, slush. Woomph! At home, Sophia snuggled up with a mug of cocoa. Sniffle, sniffle, sigh. 
Outside, the world sparkled and glistened. Snow day, Sophia whispered. The end.